Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, take a look at this. This is Chili Mac, and I'm calling it the Chili Mac Hack. It's the perfect dish for when the weather starts to turn cooler and you're watching the game or whatever it is. It's so easy to make. Let me show you how to do it. Well, you start by getting some water boiling and adding one cup of elbow macaroni. Now there's salt in that water. And so while it starts to boil, we want to get some heat going under a saucepan, about medium, a little over medium heat. And to that, we're going to add some butter. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of butter because we want to saute some vegetables, some onions and bell peppers. So I have diced about half of an onion. I'm going to put that in the pot and let it start sauteing. And then to that, I want to add some salt, a dash of salt on the onion. Okay, how about a little pepper too? That's always a good idea. Now the best way to make this is with real homemade chili, and I have plenty of it canned, but not everyone has homemade chili at their disposal. So I wanted to, again, just make it simple, and I'm going to use canned chili. So that's what makes it a hack, really. It's so simple to use canned chili. I have some jalapeno peppers. Uh, if you want it really hot, you put the red one in. If you don't want it too spicy, you use just a green jalapeno. And if you want it kid-friendly, you probably want to leave out the jalapenos. In fact, you might want to leave out the onions and bell peppers. That's just depending upon what your children might like. But I'm going to make this for adults, make this for my own taste, so I'm going to spice it up and fine dice this jalapeno pepper. This is how you do it. So simple. And I need a couple of larger slices to use for garnish right at the end of the, the video. All right, now those onions are sweating down. You can see that. Just keep them moving around. And this is, you know, you can decide how crisp or soft you want your vegetables. I want a little crispness left in mine. So in goes the diced jalapeno and then I have some bell pepper, yellow, red, and orange bell pepper. And I've made them in large chunks because I want to really taste them and see them uh, as I eat this dish. But once again that's entirely up to you. You don't have to use uh, any of these ingredients. <laughs> Give that a stir and let that start cooking. I'm going to leave these a little crisp in the dish. Now to speed this process up a little bit, I'm going to add some of the pasta water into the pot that's sauteing the vegetables. And it also makes it easier to prepare the cheese and get the cheese all nice and melted. So I'll put about half a cup of pasta water in. I've got three slices of Deli Deluxe American cheese that I'm just going to tear and put in the pot. You can see it boiling away. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little. It doesn't have to be very much, just a nice low heat. And then you want to give this a stir until that cheese melts. That's three slices of Deli Deluxe cheese. Hey, I want to encourage you to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and to like this video and share this video. You see that cheese melting? beautifully melting. And now we're going to add half a cup of cheddar cheese. You want to wait till the first melts and then stir this in. And you can see it's getting a little dry. It needs more liquid. So when that happens you just go right back to that pasta water and add that in. Hey, I also want to thank you for using my Amazon link. You can go through that link and then shop for anything you want on Amazon. And if you buy anything I get a little bit of thank you uh, from Amazon and it doesn't cost you anything. So we just stir this together. The cheese melts beautifully. It's still a little thick so I'm going to add a little more pasta water just like that. And you have to use your own judgment but it's not hard at all. Take your time. This is such an easy dish. By the time the pasta is ready, it's ready. We want to put in a dash of cumin, and this is optional as well. I just like the flavor, and now a can of chili. 
This is turkey chili with beans, but you can use the kind you like best. All right, and this recipe easily makes more. You can double it depending on how big a crowd you have to cook for. And then just stir the chili in to that delicious melted cheese. And I guess you can tell I like mine pretty cheesy. <laughs> if you don't like that much, you can add an extra can of chili. And now we want to drain the pasta and pour it in. So simple. And now all you have to do is mix it together, get it completely coated. Really, it's harder to show you how to do this than it is to actually do it. It is so simple and so delicious. It doesn't take much time. If you're not one that normally cooks at your house, I encourage you to make this dish and you'll surprise your family at how wonderful it is. So you just gently stir until all of the pasta gets coated with the chili cheese mix. Just like that. Oh, that's so delicious. And it smells good. It even sounds good. The sound of that cheese. Now all we have to do is dish it up into a serving bowl. And I'm going to get those slices of jalapeno to put on top for a garnish just to make it look better. It already tastes great. How much do you want? Let's go for a taste. Mmm, look at that. Warm and cheesy with the taste of chili. This is definitely a winner and you need to try it. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.